What's going on everybody, Gundam Flexing here. In today's video, I'm going to make a very quick, very elementary Photoshop tutorial video on how to make your Gundam eyes glow. In this example, we're going to use Gundam Barbados SD Super Deformed from Iron Blooded Orphans. If this video is a little bit too fast for you, uh, pause it, start it from the very beginning, and play it at half speed. Of course, there are thousands of ways to do this technique, but this is the technique I'm most familiar with. Let us begin. With the mouse, you want to select New Layer at the bottom right, right here. And let's call this layer Left Eye, because this technique we can only do one eye at a time. And remember, Photoshop is always about layers, so you want this left eye above the original image. We're going to select here on the left side, top left, polygonal lasso tool. Now, I recommend that we all zoom in with control plus, control plus, in order to get the corners and the edges 100 or as close as to 100% as we can. So let's start at the corner of his eye, make a selection with the mouse, let's extend it here around the outing of his eye where the green meets the black and of course where the green meets the yellow we're going to finish circling our eye and you know you selected the very first point you started out with once you see the circle underneath your mouse as such so you see it there it disappears when you move your mouse you select it and animation will appear we're going to right click in the animation and we're going to select fill at the bottom. Now you have contents, mode, opacity. For contents we want white, for mode you want normal, and opacity you want 100% and this will fill the eye with the white color at opacity 100%. Select OK. Boom. Now you're going to double click on the right side your left eye layer and you will pull up the layer style. If this doesn't pull up, don't worry. Right click your layer and select this option here, Rasterize Layer. And that will give you the option to get or pull up your layer style. You want to select Outer Glow. Boom. As you see on the image, Outer Glow is applied. And my settings are 74%, 19, and 63%. You could pause the video and copy the settings but it may be different for every computer, monitor, or even Photoshop version. So definitely mess around with the opacity, the spread, and the range. Here you can tell the opacity increases, decreases. I like to keep mine around 70. I like to keep my spread around 20, but if you increase it, you can see the spread of the glow just reaching out ridiculously, ridiculously length. So let's pull it back down to 20. And the range, if we increase it, pulls the color in and if we increase it it pushes it back out so you want that sweet spot sweet spot like right around here once you get your settings the way you like it hit OK now let's compare the left eye to the right eye very quickly you don't want this animation here in interfering with your vision so you hit select at the top and you select deselect boom now let's zoom out with control minus. If you don't have any of these keys memorized for Photoshop, I highly recommend you do, very convenient. And you can tell the difference. Here's the glow and this is definitely the sticker. Now let's work on the right eye. Same steps, here we go. Go to the bottom right, select new layer. Let's title this layer right eye. Now you don't have to name any of your layers, but it helps me keep mentally organized. And as you progress in your Photoshop skills, you're going to have sometimes up to 10 layers. Now let's zoom in with Control Plus. You want to select your polygonal lasso tool on the left side under toolbars. Let's start at the corner of his eye by selecting it with your mouse. And you're just going to go with your mouse. Separate the green from the black and the green from the yellow V fin. And you know you're going to complete the circle once you see the circle 
under the mouse as such. Boom. Right click, select fill. You want the contents to be white, mode to be normal, opacity to be 100%, and hit OK. Double click on the right side, your right eye layer, and select outer glow, which the settings would be the exact same. Hit OK. Now let's deselect by hitting deselect, or select at the top, and then deselect. This is what we got. We zoom out with control minus. It's very nice. But I also like to have a tad bit of glow around underneath his eye. Of course, you could always mess around with the effects, but if you do that, it interferes and it goes on top of his uh, V fin here. And it won't make sense because the V fin is above his eyes. So if anything, the V fin is blocking the light. In order to do this, we will have to create a new layer. So go back to the bottom right, select new layer, and let's call this light. Now, we're going to go back to the left side on your toolbar. You're going to select your brush, brush tool, and you want to select your size by coming up here to the top left. Size for me is about maybe five, you want the hardness to be 100, you want your mode to be normal, and your opacity to be 100%. Now we're going to click, and we're going to just drag this green color at the bottom of his eye, as such. Again, we're going to do that again at the opposite end. And in order to select this color, if you don't know, you just go to the left side where my mouse is. You select your color by selecting the neon green or the top palette, and of course you just browse your colors and you select the color you want, hit OK. His eyes now look a little bit funky, so let's fix this. Let's choose here, where it says normal. Make sure you have the light selected. Select normal on the right side, hit screen. Now you wanna select your opacity, which is above your fill, and again, you're still holding on to your light layer. And let's mess around with the opacity. You don't want to make it too bright, but you don't want the light to completely disappear. There it is. I think this is perfect, around 27, 25%. Boom. So, with the light layer selected, let's go to the top where it says filter. We're going to select filter. We're going to go down to blur. And let's select Gaussian Blur. Boom. Now, you will notice if you mess around with this option here, the farther you choose, the farther out the right arrow goes, or the arrow goes to the right, the less pixel or the more pixels it'll use. And of course, if you go to the left all the way to point one, the 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 colors are more hard or harder. Excuse me. I like to keep my options around six, like this. So then you can now see the glow coming out of his eyes at the bottom. Of course, if you push it out too far, it's not gonna it's not gonna stick out as well. So let's get a good glow going on. Look around five to six. Hit OK. Now let's zoom out to see our finished product. There it is. That's how you do. That's how I do. Gundam eyes in Photoshop. This is a very elementary tutorial, so if you have a better method, just let me know. Post it down in the comment section below, or just link me your own video. If you have any questions, again, post it down in the section below, comments. Appreciate you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hope this helps. Peace out.